Hello, you lovely Mario Maker person. My name is Steve and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about platforms. Platforms have some really unique features. Not only can they carry obstacles, but blue platforms are the only Mario Maker element which only starts to move once Mario touches it. So you ready? Let's do this! Our first idea features a really cool way to transport bullet blaster bills. These blasters stand on top of platforms which are on tracks. Our plumber slowly cycles towards the exit door, but he has to be careful as Bowser left the wing chain jump there. But with a little bit of platforming, Mario is able to leave this room in one piece. Our next idea makes use of blue platforms. As soon as Mario touches a blue platform, it starts to drop down. Hero Plumber drops down through a small saw blade corridor. He has to be really careful not to touch anything bad. While the first challenge is built around going down, for the second one he has to go up again. If you put a blue platform on top of an open track piece, it will drop down way faster than normal, making the third challenge the hardest one. Blue platforms are really cool chorus elements on its own. Here Mario has to jump fast from platform to platform. If he fails this challenge, he has to use a reset door. And he has to try it again. But not only the blue platform version can be used to create tricky platform challenges. If you put normal platforms on tracks, you can create really interesting obstacles as well. Here for example we mix platforms, saw blades and tracks to create a dangerous stage. Mario has to time his jumps carefully, as failing a jump has lethal consequences. But our plumber seems to find this challenge rather relaxing. Well, that's good, because once he enters the next door, bad things happen. Hooray! We shot Mario into space! Our plumber has to jump between these small platform-made spaceships, while he avoids getting crushed by a meteorite or a planet. He's on his way to Bowser's Space Space, a dangerous place Bowser built in order to kidnap Peach once again. And while the story of Bowser's Space Space needs to be told, this is not the time nor the place for it. So let's go backwards in time and back to platforms. For this idea we use several small platform tricks. Mario needs to find a P-switch in order to open this door. His best chance of finding one is climbing the small platform parkour to the right, while our plumber slowly climbs upwards the piranha plant on the left does the same and he has to avoid the deadly fireballs. Once he made his way up he can drop down this blue platform and force the P-switch to fall directly on top of the door. And now, from our ongoing series, what is the most complicated way to trigger a P-switch? I proudly present to you the platform solution. Let's quickly talk about some smaller platform tricks. Here we use a blue platform to create a muncher door, which only opens once Mario triggers the platform. Here we have a small platform parkour, where a plumber has to time his jumps carefully if he wants to avoid ouch because of spikes. Here Link tries to swim towards the exit pipe, but the platforms try to carry him away. Whenever a platform takes him behind the one-way door, he has to retry the whole challenge. And here we use a platform to position a bullet blaster bill. Once the blaster is set up, it will ignite this bomb and open Mario's path. Platforms can be used to create P-switch timers as well. This setup will trigger this P-switch after about 11 seconds. We use this setup in order to create a small minigame here. The platforms try to push our plumber into spikes and while Mario would love to leave this place as soon as possible, he has to wait for the timer at the top to expire first. Next we have some really cool platform tricks from a stage by a maker called Leo Gamer XD. Some of you might remember this stage as it is part of the speedrun challenge. The stage features dangerous platform acrobatics over lava, climbing to the top on vertical platforms, dodging horrific muncher platforms, tight platform manipulation jumps over small gaps, platforms which can only be entered and left from one direction and many many more cool tricks. I highly recommend you to check this stage out, it's a really fantastic one. 
And now it's time to announce the winner of the Mushroom Championship. It's been a really tight race and Fwomps and Monty Moles were almost equal until the last second of the election. The winner of 2016's Mushroom Championship is... Well, it's complicated. I've been checking the results daily over the last two weeks and almost every day another one was leading. At the moment, while I record this, Monty Moles are a single vote ahead of Wumps, but yesterday Wumps were ahead by two votes. I tried to look up what to do in such a tight situation in the official tournament rules, only to find out that there is no such thing as official tournament rules. So for the moment, we need to call it a draw between the Monty Moles and the Wumps, and we will have to decide this question at some point in the future. So let's go back to platforms. Here we have a small minigame challenge for Mario. There are four red coins hidden in this room. If our plumber wants to collect all of them, he needs to make his way through the small space between the platforms. While this sounds like a rather easy task at first, it turns out to be a really tough challenge as Magic Hoopers are shooting magic bullets at him. But Mario manages to survive even this threat. He seems to get used to situations like this. For this idea, Mario has to take a ride on a platform roller coaster. There are suicidal buzzy beetles which try to hurt our plumber while he enjoys his ride. But that's not the only problem. At some parts of the stage, he has to leave the platform because he will be forced to fall down otherwise. But while he isn't on the platform, he's forced to move fast as the roller coaster does not wait for our plumber. Before we move to my favorite idea, I need to ask you for help. There is one Mario Maker enemy which I wanted to cover in a tips, tricks and ideas video for a long time now. But whenever I sat down and tried to come up with cool ideas for this enemy, I had troubles. So I decided to ask you for help. The enemy I'm talking about are bloopers. So if you know any cool tricks with bloopers or have a really creative level featuring them, please leave me a comment. I hope that we are able to make bloopers great again in a group effort. And now let's take a look on my favorite idea. This idea is probably not only my favorite idea with platforms, but one of my favorite Mario Maker ideas ever. I like to call it the magical mirror room. And this idea isn't mine. A great Japanese maker came up with this idea and he created an awesome stage around it. So if you want to see what you can do with the magical mirror room, you should check out his stage. And now watch carefully what happens here. The bottom and the top of the room are magically tied together. If the platform leaves the bottom, it appears at the top and vice versa. The same is true for the beetles and the vine. If you want to create such an illusion, you need to force Mario to stay exactly in the middle of the room and you need to place exactly the same obstacles below him as on the top. If you further want to investigate how this works, just check the level ID out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially lifted today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon with even more tips, tricks and ideas in Super Mario Maker. Goodbye!